Living Room, New Jersey, Night. Hello. Hello. <coughs> it's me. Billy? <coughs> yes. Baby, you sound terrible. What's going on? Um, I'm burning up. My chest hurts. Mommy, please take care of me. Oh, okay, 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 babe. Okay. When, when are you coming? I'll get the next flight, sweet angel. Don't worry. Don't Mom. worry. Let me, let me speak to your dad. Mommy, I want you to come. I don't care what daddy says. You're coming, <laughs> right? Yes. But promise? Yes, I promise. Put your daddy on. Daddy, mommy wants to talk to you. Hey. What the hell, Elliot? He says he's burning up. What's his temperature? 103 when I took it a few minutes ago. As many times you barked orders to me, now suddenly you don't have the sense God gave geese? Give him a dose of children's ibuprofen for the fever and get him to a doctor. This could be another bout of pneumonia. Why didn't you call me? His temp just shot up tonight. He's making a real ruck. After for you. Uh, I'll get you a ticket. Can you come out? Of course. And I'll pay for my ticket. Call me after you give him the meds. Thanks. Eileen's living room, New Jersey, night. May now dress, packs a large duffel bag. Ilana and Barbara, I May's every move. Are you crazy? Whatever happened to, if I ever go back to him again, you can take a baseball bat and hit a home run upside my head. Billy's really sick. 103 temp, I think it's pneumonia again. Oh God, that's awful. So where are you gonna stay? Hotel. Mm -hmm. What hotel? I don't know yet. I just got off the phone with him. Hello. Yeah, what, what's his temp now? Okay. Okay, so um, give him another dose in four hours and keep an eye on his cough. Thanks. Thanks. And call me back. Bullshit! You're gonna stay with Elliot and you know it. And what if I do? My kid is sick. Well, finally, some honesty here. Remember, I called the hotel you were supposedly staying at the last time? And they said you never checked in? So crucify me. I fell asleep watching TV with my kids. They could have watched TV with you at the hotel. I stayed at Elliot's one night with my kids in my arms, not Elliot. If divorced people were supposed to be together, they would still be married. 5 a.m. in the effing morning. Shut the hell up. Alana, are you still taking me to the airport or, or should I call a cab? Of course I'll take you. But your flight's not for another six hours. I'll wait at the airport. Oh, nonsense. Look, May, you, you gotta understand. We've seen you go back to Elliot with the best intentions. So many times that we've lost count. Only to have things blow up in your face. But then, instead of crumbling, you get strong, determined, invincible. You toss him to the curb. Then, just like a junkie needs his fix, you, you run right back into his arms. This is a waste of time. She is never going to change. She's still expecting her Prince Charming to give her a happily ever after. Sweetie, let's go to the circle. There's a meeting this morning. Well, no, I don't need the circle. I'm not going to miss my flight. That is not for another six hours. I'll get you to the airport in plenty of time. I promise. Come on. Neither of you has circled up in a while. Hash it out. Get a fresh perspective without bias. 
Circle Support Center, New Jersey, morning. Women sitting on folding chairs form a circle. Today we join in a loving intervention. No need for fear or contention. No hurling of insults or behavior uncouth. We only seek to heal our wounds by facing hidden truths. We only seek to heal our wounds by facing hidden truths. There's no difference among us. We are one and the same. There's not one amongst us who not knows the pain. No courts to defend us, no laws to protect us. Mothers are we, whose children have been ripped from out our loving arms. So when we speak to one another, we must cause no further harm. Kind thoughts, kind words, kind deeds. Kind thoughts, kind words, kind deeds. May walks towards Sophia. Welcome, May. What brings you to the center of the circle? My son is, <clears throat> my son is sick. Um, I'm gonna take care of him by any means necessary. Huh. A mother's love. So what's the problem? <clears throat> yes, Barbara. Um, he's a violent man with his words and with his fits. But still there's something about her ex that she just can't resist. Well, she'll swear to one and all, this time is the end. But then she'll cave in again, yet again. Kind words. He just, just by the, the snap of his finger, he just by, by the wave of his hands, funny how old habits linger, the willing ringer falls at his command. What she's trying to say, there is no guarantee. That paper you hold so dear can set you free. It's you who holds the power within your hands. Trust and believe in your strength and not that kind of man. He... <laughs> He promises a new beginning, promises, promises. You've heard them all before. You'll hold the cards, believe you are winning. He lies, he, he cheats um, to beat your score. Stop being a fool. You'll never win this game, not playing by his rules. It's you who holds the power right here in your mind. Cut the marital cord, sever the ties that bind. I have no fortune, I have no fame. I am an ocean, undying devotion for my sons. I play the waiting game. I do not adore him. I abhor all that he'll do and he'll say, what choice is there? But play the card still to my hand. Trust and believe, I know he's not that kind of man. A good mother does not stay with the man who beats her. And because you, you refuse to leave him, you cannot protect yourself or your children from his words or his fists. So easy to criticize, so easy to do. What makes you an expert? What kind of mother are you? Last time you held your boys, they were babies. Isn't that right? I'm not like you. I do what I have to. I never give up the fight. Moments and pieces of time may not seem replete, but it's better than not to know your sons if they pass you on the street. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Uh, oh, really? Don't put me in the middle, May. Oh, you put yourself in the middle, Alana, when you talk behind both our backs. You pretend to be a friend, but what kind of friend is that? You let their father snatch your twins and let his mistress raise them. No pursuit, no fight. You're all bark and no bite. You've got no right to judge me. You've got no right. Kind thoughts, kind words, kind deeds. It's hard to be kind when I'm under attack. You all around when my guard is down to stab me in the back. That will never happen here. Here we have your back. We 
waiting for courts to give me justice. Hoping and waiting over and over again. But as I sat, waiting, wishing, and wanting, my little boys became young men. All those precious moments lost, never to be replaced, painful lessons learned, truths I must face. Grab your moments, steal them wherever you can. Break all the rules, lie if you must. Be careful who you trust. To live without them was never part of the plan. Keep my eyes on the prize, realize he'll never ever, 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 never, ever change. No. He's not that kind of man. 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 He's not that kind of 